Shape, you need to close the page now. Now, for the rest of you that haven't fucking woken up, for those of you that have, congratulations, thank you, and please like, share, remix, etc., etc. For the rest of you that still think everything is fucking fine, you know, I'm thinking about some of the headlines I've been seeing in Facebook posts, and okay, they got you all fighting each other again over the fucking a- illegal aliens. Oh, Jesus Christ. We gotta, we gotta pass laws. We gotta fight about, you know, goddamn illegals. That's right. Oh, God, you're all worried about the illegals that are running wild in the fucking streets. And you haven't considered there's a fucking illegal alien running the White House. God damn it. And for those of you, before you even start typing and rebutting your bullshit about... Oh, drop the birther issue. Fuck you! Show me a valid certificate. It's all we're asking. You still haven't done it. You spent millions of dollars while my kids are fucking going hungry. People are being thrown out of their fucking homes. Millions of dollars to stop what is simply the truth. God damn it, when has the truth become out of line, you motherfuckers? Because I have had enough of you fucking sheep. And you abominites. We asked a simple question and the man went out of his way to hide the information. Submitted fraudulent documents and when summoned the court ignored it. Now god damn it. Meanwhile, he's killing children all over the fucking globe and yours could be next. Now what the fuck? Fighting amongst his fucking selves. Yeah. I want to address this fucking system that you have, which I never took part in, never voted in. What I'm mad about is that I never started fighting against it. Because since I was a, I love to quote Loki. I've known the truth since I was a small little boy. I am a product of the system I was born to destroy. And I'm adamant about it. Because I, oh, ever since six years old, just over here in the news. Not studying it, but overhearing it. And my father and mother weren't one to get involved in it anyway, but the comments and the things they would talk about it limitedly uh, was negative. And I had a sick sense that it was all fucking bullshit. And hindsight tells me I was absolutely right. The problem with me was is that I avoided the system and would not take part in it then I went on to have kids, and now they're responsible for fucking $52,000! And you still think that's okay. It's not okay. They don't know shit. Okay? They don't. Neither do you. 
Ah, now, lost my place because I'm so fucking pissed off. Ah, all right, so this is your system. We founded the nation with this system. It failed in the 1800s and we sold it out to a fucking corporation now known as Washington, D.C. First failure. Failed again, right, in the 30s. Everybody fucking starving all over the place, right? System failed. Strike two. The system has failed right now. Collapsed, they just have not verified it by putting it on Fox, CNN, MSNBC, or the rest of the fucking lamestream media. They haven't validated it yet. But when the baby out of the womb owes 52,000 fucking dollars, the system has failed. Three strikes, you're out. And for you fucking sheep that think you're going to vote your way out of this shit, let me remind you. When you got pissed off about the two-party system, they threw in the Tea Party and the Libertarians and the fucking whatever the fuck you want to call it now to divide the vote and even further the fucking agenda. And again, three strikes, you're out. The only way this nation is going to remain whole and have any respect for prosperity, if we're going to look at this from a global point of view, is if we do have our state sovereignty and authority. And that's why I endorse the governors and the sheriffs of this country to take it back. Arrest those that need to be arrested in D.C., close the corporation, bankrupt, bankrupt, but it's a business. It's not you and I. It's not we the people. It's Ben Bernanke and the rest of those fucking bloodthirsty motherfucking mafia motherfucks. Okay? The system has failed you three fucking times. And they're creating more every day for you to pay. But you're not only paying with that fucking invalid currency in your wallet. You're paying the, with the blood of children, of generations. You don't have that right. So, anyway, I think that was my rant. I sure feel fucking tired after that, because this needs to be said. Now, as of this video, <coughs> excuse me, two hands on the wheel, Kevin. You can't do that. One hand on the wheel is fine. Uh, anyway, I will be creating a Facebook page, and I want to endorse anybody that has a flag on their home or business to turn it upside down. That is not a sign of disrespect. Um, I will... As soon as I get time uh, to upload this, link below to the flag code that shows you in black and white. I don't want to expect you to take my word for it. But if you're sitting there wondering, well, we're not really a nation in distress. It's just the, the political system is a little flawed, but, but really we're not a nation in distress. Let me remind you, I haven't even touched on the fact that Fukushima has radiated us all. And you were told everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Have you considered the fact that, I don't know, six or eight months ago, nine, ten nations band together to warn us not to go into Syria? But we're going to do whatever the fuck we want to anyway. To remind you that North Korea is posed and ready to shoot nuclear fucking weapons at us. And Russia, well, you know how that goes. Oh, wait, they were one of the nine nations that warned us not to go there. Do you understand that there are terror drills setting, being set up all over this country? That the government itself realizes that we're either going to be outwardly attacked by somebody or we're going to attack ourselves and overthrow the government? We are a nation in distress. Don't twist it to say that Kevin is uh, anti-America. No. I love my nation for the, for the form of the land and the people and the variety and culture that it has. But its system is not only flawed, its system is a vile, killing machine. And I don't respect it at all. My neighbors I respect and love. My government I do not. When you have to take a number, stand in line, and have a 99.8% chance of being rejected unless you have a big wad of money in your pocket, 
That's not a government of, for the people. And I didn't authorize the killing of anybody for any reason. I was never convinced in any of these wars that, I, that have been around since I'm alive, and I'm questioning the ones that were before my birth, okay? To quote Loki again, since 1945, the United States has attempted to overthrow more than 50 foreign governments. Can you really believe that there have been 50 terroristic regimes that had to be overthrown just since 1945? To quote another friend, nigga, please. Anyway, much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon. Indicate to the people who run it, to the people who